Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Teague. Let's jump right into it. The S&P 500 is modestly lower today, down 12 handles, and the VIX is modestly higher today, up to 1906. Of course, the VIX is now below 20. Uh, some consider that a key level, as we've seen a tremendous rally in the in all risk assets in the past two weeks. Uh, we've seen a tremendous rally in spite of the fact that we've had the hottest inflation in 40 years. The Fed raising rates and saying we're going to continue to raise rates until we get inflation under control and a war going on in Europe. So uh, that's really baffling to, uh, to a lot of people. And it's really con confounding and it's really confusing. Yet uh, here we are now. Uh, we have short term yields coming a lot higher, yet the long term has not nearly risen as much. And for me, that might be the reason why we're seeing this risk on mode. Uh, the, the borrowing cost for a lot of these companies is not going to be as much as previously feared when the Fed was being so hawkish. Now, all that said, um, that is really another way of saying that the market's signaling a recession. Uh, typically, when uh, the short-term yield is higher than the medium-term yield, that means that the short-term yield has to come lower after a couple of quarters. And, oh, guess what? Uh, that will only happen if the market is cooling off. And so that's, that's some significant uh, divergence for me, and it remains to be seen whether or not this rally we've seen in the past two weeks is a, a real deal and we're going to get new all-time highs uh, relatively soon, or uh, this is a bear market rally. We'll watch and see how that plays out. Now, the April VIX futures, they're a lot higher than where the cash is right now. They're almost at 22, so that's about a $3 premium. Uh, so uh, you can see a lot of future traders are have their own bets already in place. For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Teague.